Imagine looking up into the night sky and seeing not just stars, but thousands of satellites whizzing by. It's not science fiction, it's the near future. But how crowded can our orbit get before it's too much? Ten years ago, Earth's orbit was relatively spacious, home to around a thousand operational satellites. Fast forward to today and we're talking tens, possibly hundreds of thousands. It's an astronomical traffic jam up there. So, what's the big deal? Satellites are essential, right? They connect us, guide us, and even watch over our planet. But there's a catch. More satellites mean higher risks. Risks of collisions, space debris, and potentially a cascade of chaos in our skies. Experts like Jonathan McDowell, an astrophysicist at the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, have been voicing their concerns about this burgeoning issue for years. It's not just a matter of space getting crowded. The core concern centers on space debris. Every collision in space, whether between active satellites, discarded rocket stages, or defunct satellites, creates a cascade of debris. This isn't just about pieces of metal floating aimlessly. It's about fragments traveling at speeds over 17,500 miles per hour capable of causing catastrophic damage to other satellites and spacecraft. But the implications of this expanding cloud of debris stretch far beyond the immediate dangers of collision. Each piece of debris, no matter how small, has the potential to create a domino effect, leading to more collisions and an exponential increase in debris. This turns each subsequent satellite launch into a high-stakes game of cosmic dodgeball where the odds of successfully navigating through this debris field diminish over time. The growing risk threatens not only current satellites and space missions, but also the future of space exploration and utilization. Moreover, this space debris isn't confined to just impacting satellite operations. It poses a significant threat to the International Space Station, ISS where astronauts conduct scientific research and experiments crucial to our understanding of life in space. A small piece of debris colliding with the ISS at high velocity could cause severe damage, endangering the lives of the astronauts aboard and the future of manned space missions. Dr. McDowell and others in the field aren't sounding the alarm without cause. The situation in low Earth orbit is reaching a tipping point. Without proper management and mitigation strategies, we face not only the loss of critical satellite-based services, such as GPS, telecommunications, and weather forecasting, but also the potential of locking ourselves out of space. This isn't a futuristic nightmare. It's a very real possibility if we don't take collective action to address the growing challenge of space debris. Consider the infamous 2009 collision between the inactive Russian satellite Cosmos 2251 and the operational Iridium-33. This event, the first ever accidental hypervelocity collision between two satellites, generated a cloud of more than 2,000 trackable debris fragments. Imagine the implications if incidents like this become more frequent. This brings us to a critical concept, the Kessler syndrome. This isn't just a theoretical scenario, it's a potential reality that could have far-reaching consequences. Named after Donald J. Kessler, a NASA scientist, this syndrome describes a situation where the density of objects in low Earth orbit becomes so high that collisions between objects could lead to a chain reaction. Imagine a domino effect, but in space, where each collision generates more space debris, increasing the likelihood of further collisions. But what does this mean in practical terms? Picture this. A single collision in space, like two satellites crashing, doesn't just end with those satellites. It creates thousands of pieces of debris. These fragments can then collide with other satellites, creating even more debris. It's a snowball effect, and it could reach a point where certain areas of space become impassable due to the sheer amount of floating debris. This isn't science fiction. It's a scenario that could severely disrupt our satellite-based services, from GPS navigation to weather forecasting. The implications of the Kessler syndrome extend beyond just losing satellite services. 
it could also pose significant challenges to future space missions. Imagine trying to navigate a spacecraft through a minefield of high-speed debris. The risks of damage and danger to human life become much higher. This isn't a problem for the distant future. It's an issue we need to address now to ensure the safety and sustainability of our space endeavors. Now, while this might sound like a bleak picture, it's not all doom and gloom. Recognizing the risks of the Kessler syndrome is the first step in preventing it. It's a call to action for better management of our space environment, smarter satellite design, and more effective debris removal strategies. By tackling this challenge head on, we can ensure that our ventures into space remain safe and sustainable. Let's pause here and think. What can we do to prevent this cascading catastrophe in space? The answer lies not just in technology, but in our approach to how we use and preserve our outer space. As stewards of this vast, uncharted territory, the choices we make today will shape the orbital landscape for generations to come. Across the globe, organizations and governments are grappling with the challenge of space debris. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs is at the forefront, developing guidelines for mitigating space debris. These include critical measures like ensuring satellites are moved to a graveyard orbit after their mission and deactivating them to prevent explosions. But it's not just about creating rules, it's about international cooperation and commitment to these guidelines. With space being a global commons, the responsibility to maintain its safety and sustainability falls on all nations. Space sustainability goes beyond just avoiding collisions. It encompasses the long-term preservation of the outer space environment. This includes managing the increasing number of satellites, addressing the potential for interference with astronomical observations, and even considering the ethical implications of space exploration. As we advance, the conversation shifts from mere utilization to responsible stewardship. In response to these challenges, cutting-edge technologies are being developed. Companies are exploring the realm of satellite servicing, essentially space mechanics that can repair, refuel, or reposition satellites to extend their life and reduce clutter. There's also a growing focus on designing satellites that are easier to deorbit at the end of their lifespan. Another intriguing area is the development of space debris removal technologies. Concepts like nets, harpoons, and even lasers are being tested to clean up our cosmic backyard. The new space race isn't just about getting to Mars or the Moon, it's also about who can provide sustainable solutions in Earth's orbit. Private space companies are playing an increasingly significant role. Their innovative approaches to satellite design, launch processes, and debris mitigation are crucial. However, with the rise of commercial space ventures, there's also a need for regulatory frameworks to ensure these companies operate responsibly and in harmony with global sustainability goals. Let's bring this into perspective. Every day, technologies in space impact our lives on Earth. From satellite-based internet to Earth observation for climate research, the health of our orbit directly affects us. How do you see the future of space exploration and sustainability? Would private companies lead the way? Or should governments take the reins? Share your thoughts in the comments. Looking forward, space agencies and private companies are developing new technologies to address these concerns. From satellite servicing missions to space debris removal initiatives, the race is on to find sustainable solutions. But it's not just about technology. It's also about policy, international cooperation, and responsible stewardship of our orbital space. As we delve into the realm of satellites and space sustainability, there's a crucial component we shouldn't overlook the power of public awareness and education. Understanding these issues isn't just for scientists and policymakers. It's vital for everyone. Why? Because the decisions we make on Earth, from policy support to technological choices, impact our space environment. Here's where you come in. By staying informed and spreading awareness about the importance of sustainable space practices, you can make a difference. Whether it's supporting space sustainability initiatives, participating in citizen science projects, or simply having conversations about the impact of space debris, your voice matters. 
educational platforms, social media, and community forums are great places to start these discussions. Moreover, for those aspiring scientists, engineers, and space enthusiasts among our viewers, your future contributions to this field could be groundbreaking. Whether you're in a classroom today or in a lab tomorrow, your curiosity and innovation are key to solving the challenges we face in space exploration and sustainability. Finally, let's remember that space is a shared resource. It's not just the realm of astronauts and satellites, it's a part of our collective home. By educating ourselves and others, we become advocates for a sustainable space environment, ensuring that the wonders of the cosmos remain accessible and safe for future generations. As we continue to reach for the stars, we must also protect the space we have. The question isn't just how many satellites we can fit into Earth's orbit, but how we can manage our space activities sustainably. Are we on the brink of a space crisis or the dawn of a new era in space stewardship? This conversation extends into broader themes in science. It's about how innovation intersects with responsibility. Whether we're discussing gene editing, artificial intelligence, or space exploration, the same principles apply. How do we balance the pursuit of knowledge and advancement with the ethical and sustainable use of technology? As a community passionate about science, these are the questions we must explore. As part of our commitment to delving into all corners of science, we'll continue to bring you content that challenges, informs, and inspires. From the physics of black holes to the latest in renewable energy, from the mysteries of the human brain to the depths of our oceans, we're here to explore it all. If you're excited to join us on this journey of discovery, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Your support enables us to dive deeper into these important topics and bring diverse scientific explorations to you. Stay curious, stay engaged, and let's unlock the wonders of science together.